Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about about the lookup activity which we have seen in the previous video and we will see what are the application of the lookup activity in Azure Data Factory. So if you haven't watched my previous video that is how to use lookup activity you can you can go and watch it out and then you can move to this video. So before we go to the video, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here I upload a video of uh, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Break, Spark, SQL and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with today's video. So let me open a portal and you can see we have this lookup activity which, have, which we have created in the previous video. So let me run it and uh, tell you the result of it so if i move this to and let me expand this it is running now and if i if i click on this output button then you can see we have this file name and then we have a name file name test 2 and this and so on so now our question is now our uh, requirement is to that we have to check whether a table has a table has a table i mean a file has abc data into this column or not so let me open uh, let me open a csv file so this is a csv file present over here present over the uh, blob storage and the content is like this testing.csv testing.2.csv and so on and then we have abc now the the business was saying is that if abc column abc row present in this column then we do not pull the data okay we do not want to pull the data if it is if it is not present then we can pull the data okay so what we will do is that we have set up this lookup activity okay and we will store we will store or we can say we will check these values here only and then we will perform the further activities so for that what will i do i will use for each activity and i will attach to this okay once it is done it means once it is completed successfully then i have to move to for each activity go to setting button here i have to choose whether we have to you know iterate the iterate the loop or we can say iterate the values in a sequential manner or the parallel fashion so if i check this sequential it means it will perform a sequentially if i haven't checked it means it will perform parallel and here i have to uh, give the number of items in one uh, one iteration okay so it is optional these both are optional so let me uh, give the value here click on add dynamic content and if I go down, then you can see we have this lookup value array because I want to I want to see the data. Okay, every data we have to see. So once I go to here and click on this edit button, here I have to choose if okay. And here what I will pass, I will pass, I will write my expression. Uh, at the rate equals and then choose for each and here I pass file name and then I will check whether the file name is ABC or not if it is ABC then means we do not want to we do not want to I did okay we do not want to we do not want uh, we do not want to copy the data so what we will do we will go to this true activity okay and I will use my web activity go to setting button give some wrong URL like abc dot abc chat dot com okay like the method get that's done 
and then go back in the if false condition if it is not this let it be okay and moving to this i will use copy activity so i should not use here the reason is it will go on iteration i hope so is it so uh, okay so let me use a lookup activity sorry a copy activity here okay it is done mm, okay so now let me debug it okay so i have to pass some name so i will not pass for now and let's tell you the uh, you know scenario and you can do it because i have teach i have taught you so let me refresh it and we'll see the output so if i click on this output button you can see we have this file name and this and if i go to this iteration one by one it's doing it got failed so why it got failed because we did a mistake so let me go back and let me go back okay it is failed right so we are correct so because we found abc value okay and the entire day entire activity has been failed suppose we do not have like i will not put here copy activity instead of i will put here some wait activity okay just for your purpose i will tell you what does wait means and let me do this green color thing and choose choose to choose zero i guess one okay one already here and let me do one thing let me go back and remove this now we do not have any abc data present in this file okay so what we will you what we will do if we if i debug it now then this wait activity will run okay why so because everything is everything will be green in green okay so let it be let it be it is running 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 so let me let me okay it is right it is correct uh it's running and you can see this bit is running and what if if i include abc in capital letter okay save it and try to run it again so if i debug it again then this will not run it means if it means if our forage will fail this will not run so it is running now give us some second i just gave you the scenario okay you can use this activity might be you can use data flow might be you can use any other activity any other procedure you can use okay just i gave you the scenario then there might be many scenarios right so i just give tell you i just told you that we can use some see this activity has been failed so this will not run suppose this is copy activity okay now if i go to for each i would like to tell you the formula you can see it is taking lookup one which is name of this output dot value so if i go down and if i click on this output then you can see we have everything here and then dot value so it is taking till dot value and this is kind of array okay this is kind of array you can say you can assume this is key value key value key value so i am passing till value here okay i am passing till value here now if i open this if i go to this if condition then i have written item dot file name so if i go back and 
then you can see value I am iterating one by one with this key file underscore name file underscore name file underscore name file underscore name and at last it will check ABC so this you can use this activity this lookup activity this kind of uh, uh, pipeline when data is very less okay if suppose data is thousand rows and you have to check whether this uh, this data is present in this particular column or not then don't use it it is not an efficient way okay so i hope you have understood this concept why to use lookup activity we can use like you know this lookup right now i have used in uh, uh, storage account okay we can use this lookup activity in sql server azure sql database and gen 2 gen 1 snowflake everything like there are a couple of link service i cannot uh, list it down right now okay so i hope you have understood this concept and moving forward i will tell you what does metadata means metadata activity means and what is the real time example i will also tell you give you so i hope you have liked that video if you do, do subscribe and share with your friends